Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we have one very interesting question from British Math Olympiad. We have 1 plus 1 over A times 1 plus 1 over B times 1 plus 1 over C equal to 2 given that A, B, C are natural numbers. So numbers will start from 1, 2, 3, 4 up to any defined positive integer. Now we have A, B, C in our LHS. So three variables are here. We will try to restrict one variable out of these three variables. So I will use log. Without loss of generality, we can consider if A is less than or equal to B is less than or equal to C. Then A is the smallest one among these three and C is the biggest one. So we can write here 1 over A must be greater than or equal to 1 over B must be greater than or equal to 1 over C. Now I can easily write because of 1 over A is greater than 1 over B, 1 plus 1 over A must be greater than or equal to 1 plus 1 over B. Now again I will multiply here with 1 plus 1 over A and we will say it is greater than 1 plus 1 over C. Again we will multiply both sides by 1 plus 1 over A and in LHS also 1 plus 1 over A. So LHS is 2 and RHS is 1 plus 1 over A whole cube. Now we are going to restrict our variable A by putting A equal to 4. If I will put A equal to 4, then our RHS, we will write 1 plus 1 over 4 whole cube, which is equal to 5 over 4 whole cube. And 5 cube is 125, 4 cube is 64, value will be less than 2, 64 times 2 is 128. We are dividing number which is lesser than 128, we are going to get result less than 2. In LHS we have 2 exactly. So we cannot have A equal to 4. So A is restricted. Let us check for A equal to 5 also. If we will consider, we will write 1 plus 1 over 5 whole cube, which will be equal to 6 cube over 5 cube. 6 cube is 216. 5 cube is 125. If we will divide, we are going to get again number less than 2. So A is restricted from this exercise. A may be 1. A may be 2, A may be 3. Now we are going to put A equal to 1 to our equation which will be in two variable B and C. Similarly for A equal to 2 and A equal to 3. So I am going to plug in A equal to 1 here. We are going to get 1 plus 1 over 1 is 1 times 1 plus 1 over B times 1 plus 1 over C equal to 2. Now 1 plus 1 is also 2. We can divide both sides by 2 and we will get 1 plus 1 over B times 1 plus 1 over C will be equal to 1. Now a number which is slightly more than 1, we will multiply with the same number which is slightly more than 1. Means I would say if suppose B is equal to 2 and C is equal to 3, value will be 1.5 times 1.33. We are not going to get RHS 1. So A cannot be equal to 1. A equal to 1 is not possible. 
so we are going to reject a equal to one case now we are going to check a equal to two and a equal to three one by one so i will plug in a equal to two so one plus one over two times one plus one over b times one plus one over c equal to two 1 plus 1 over 2 is 3 over 2. Let us write 3 over 2. And here we will take LCM. We will write B plus 1 over B. Here we will write C plus 1 over C equal to 2. Now we will multiply both sides by 2 times BC or 2BC. So I can write here 3 times B plus 1 times c plus 1 this would be equal to 4 times bc now we will simplify lhs or expand lhs we will write bc plus b plus c plus 1 times 3 so we can write 3bc plus 3b plus 3c plus 3 equal to 4bc now we will take all the terms to right hand side. So 4BC minus 3BC. We are going to get BC. Then we will write minus 3B minus 3C minus 3. Let me write here. Now we will add 12 to both sides. So let us add 12 to both sides. 12 minus 3 is 9. So we will write in the LHS. BC minus 3B minus 3C plus 9 equal to 12. From first two terms, B is common. So in the bracket, we can write C minus 3. From last two terms of LHS, we will take minus 3 common. So in the bracket, we will get C minus 3. RHS is 12. Now our factorization is done. We will write B minus 3 times C minus 3 equal to 12. Now B is less than or equal to C. If we will write our block condition, A is less than or equal to B is less than or equal to C. So I can write here b minus 3 would be less than or equal to c minus 3 b is a smaller c is greater so b minus 3 would be smaller c minus 3 would be greater so we can factor 12 in such a way that b minus 3 bracket will give lesser value so i can write here 1 times 12 here b minus 3 is 1 c minus 3 is 12 product will be 12 or we can write 2 times 6 B minus 3 is smaller than C minus 3 value, which is 6. Then we can write here 3 times 4. These three factors we are going to consider. B minus 3 times C minus 3 is 12. So let me write here. I will write here B minus 3, C minus 3. And if you will write values, then I can write here 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Now we have to find B, we have to find C. So to get the value of B, we have to add 3 to both the columns for B and C. For B, we will add 3 to first column B minus 3. So I will write here 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 3 is 6. 12 plus 3 is 15, 6 plus 3 is 9, 4 plus 3 is 7. And this is happening under A equal to 2 value. So easily we can write A comma B comma C, 2 comma 4 comma 5, 15. It is 2 comma 4 comma 15. Then 2 comma 5 comma 9. Then 2 comma 6 comma 7. 
now we will get six permutations six set from this value six set from this value and six set from this value so six plus six plus six 18 values 18 triplets will be getting from this a equal to 2 case we will write all the values at last let us consider a equal to 3 so now i will write here if a equal to 3 so here we are going to plug in a equal to 3 we will be writing 1 plus 1 over 3 times 1 plus 1 over b times 1 plus 1 over c equal to 2 a equal to 3 so 1 plus 1 over 3 is 4 over 3 we will write here 4 over 3 times 1 plus 1 over b let us take lcm so we can write b plus 1 over b here we will write c plus 1 over c equal to 2 now we will divide both sides by 2 so we will write here 1 and here we can write 2 now we will multiply this equation by 3 bc so i can write here 2 over 3 times 3 bc so we will be getting 2 b plus 1 times c plus 1 in rhs we have to write 3 times BC. Now we are going to expand LHS. So 2 times BC plus B plus C plus 1 equal to 3 BC. Or we can write 2 BC plus 2B plus 2C plus 2 equal to 3 BC. Take all the terms to right hand side we are going to get bc 3bc minus 2bc is bc minus 2b minus 2c minus 2 equal to 0. Now we are going to add 6 to both sides so that let me add here 6 plus 6. So in LHS we will write bc minus 2b minus 2c plus 4 equal to 6. Now we will take b common from these two minus 2 common from these two. So if I will take b common then I can write c minus 2 in the bracket then minus 2 is common we are going to get the same bracket c minus 2 rhs is 6. Now our factorization in is done we will write b minus 2 times c minus 2 equal to 6. b minus 2 times c minus 2 equal to 6. Again we will say b is less than or equal to c then b minus 2 would be less than or equal to c minus 2. So we have to factor 6 in such a way that here we will write a smaller number in comparison with second column C minus 2. So we can write 1 here and 6 here. Product will be 6. We can write 2 here and 3 here. We cannot write 3 and 2 because B minus 2 is smaller than C minus 2. So only two combinations we are going to get. So I can write here b minus 2, c minus 2, 1, 6, 2, 3. Now we have to calculate b and c. So we will add 2 here to get the value of b. Add 2 here to get the value of c. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 2 is 4. 6 plus 2 is 8. 3 plus 2 is 5. And this is happening under A equal to 3 restriction. Now we have BC available here. So I can write here A comma B comma C will be equal to 3 comma 3 comma 8. 
एंड थ्री कॉमा फोर कॉमा फाइव सो वी हैव इन टोटल फाइव ट्रिपलेट्स फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो इफ आई विल राइट आई कैन राइट हेयर फॉर थ्री कॉमा थ्री कॉमा एट वी विल बी गेटिंग थ्री ट्रिपलेट्स एज वी हैव टू नंबर सेम सो आई विल राइट हेयर ऑल द फाइव सेट्स फर्स्ट सो लेट मी राइट वंस here we have triplets for a equal to 2 we have 2 4 15 2 5 9 2 6 and from a equal to 3 case we will write 3 3 8 3 4 5 now we have to write all the permutations so if i will demonstrate first one i can write here 2 then we have to switch 4 and 15 so 15 comma 4 then we can write 2 here and then in the next one i will write two here here we'll be writing 4 and 15 here we have to write 15 and 4 now we will write two at last so we'll be writing 4 and 15 here and then we have to write 15 comma 4 so this way we can get overall six values Again, we will write for two five nine. If I will complete, I can write two nine five. Then we can write two here, and then we will be writing five and nine. Then we will be writing nine and five. Then we have to write two here for the last two triplets. So we can write here five and nine. and then we have to switch the values 9 becomes 5 becomes 9 9 becomes 5 now the turn of 2 6 7 we'll be writing 2 7 6 then we will write 2 here so we can write here 6 and 7 switching the value 7 and 6 then we have to write two triplets where we will write 2 at last so we have to write here 6 7 here we'll be writing 7 6 similarly for 3 3 8 we'll be getting only three cases as 8 at the middle of triplet so we'll be writing 3 8 3 and then we can write 8 at the first position because two numbers are identical So six plus six plus six plus three so far. It t eighteen plus three is twenty one. Now the turn of three four five. We'll be writing three five four. Then we'll write three here. So I can write four five. Then we can write three here. Switching the value of four and five. Five will be here. Four will be last. then we have to write two triplets ending with 3 so we will write 3 here then 4 and 5 4 comma 5 5 comma 4 so in total 18 plus 3 is 21 21 plus 6 is 27 triplets are here i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching Do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck